hello guys good afternoon welcome back to my youtube channel this is miss henderson so it's a beautiful day outside i'm looking through my window and it's nice and sunny it's beautiful so it's a day to do a few questions on cna um prometric nursing um aids exam so i'm going to be reading a few questions from my computer so um please pay attention to these questions because they can help you to pass your prometric exam so that being said let's dive into the questions so the first question we have here padded side rails are used to a keep the client in bed b protect the client from injury c provide additional warmth d remind the client of home so the correct answer is to protect so yes guys i'm not sure if you got the first question but the first question was padded side rails are used to keep the client in bed b protect the client from injury c provide additional warmth d remind the client of home so Padded side rails are used to protect the client from injury. B is the correct answer for this question. So question number two. A client is sitting in her room with a doll in her arm, stating, my baby is sick. What should the nurses aide do? A, tell her not to worry because the baby will be fine. B, Tell her that the aide will call the baby's doctor. C. Ask her if she is upset with her doll. D. Tell her the baby is not real. C is the correct answer. So guys, let's look at question number three. Question number three states, the best way to measure accurate daily weight is to A. Weigh the client without clothing. B. Weigh the client fully close c weigh the client at the same time each day or d weigh the client after breakfast so the best way to measure accurate daily weight will be weigh the client at the same time each day and also on the same scale so c is the correct answer guys these questions are on prometric exams so Pay close attention to them because they can come on the prometric exam and you can, you know, understand it. So that's the correct answer. Weigh the client as at the same time each day on the same scale. Let's move on. So guys, let's look at question number four. Question number four states when transferring a client... The client becomes weak and begins to fall. The nurse's aid first action is to A. Hold the transfer belt and lean against the wall. B. Call for help. C. Grasp the transfer belt and lower the client to the floor. Or D. Hold the client lightly to prevent falling. So this is a common question that Prometric can ask you. So the correct answer for this question will be to grasp the transfer belt and lower the client to the floor. That's the most safe and important thing to do when a client is um, weak and they... Um... So question number five states, guys, a client is walking back and forth in the hallway the nurse's aide should a restrain the resident b walk with the resident c place the resident in locked room or d continue to observe the client so what will be the best um actions to take is d continue to observe the client that's the correct answer for this question. Let's see. I think we're on question number six, right? Question number six states, sputum is best collected A, just before bedtime, B, in the afternoon, C, upon awakening in the morning, D, anytime. So it sees the correct answer for this question. 
So guys, let's look at question number seven, I think. A client begins to have seizure while the nurse's aide is bathing him. The nurse's aide should A, hold him down to prevent him from falling, put a tongue depressor in his mouth, C, protect him from injuries, injuries himself, run out of the room and get help. What should you do if a patient is having seizure? We discussed this in class and we said the main goal is when patient is having a seizure is to actually protect the client from injuries and harm by placing a pillow under their head, turning them to the side, to the recovery position to prevent aspiration. So C will be the correct answer for this question. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm Ms. Henderson. I am a nurse educator. And today I'm here, I'm currently teaching a CNA class, and I'm here to demonstrate the bedpan skill. So as always, if you like these types of videos and these types of educational content, kindly smash that subscribe button and smash the thumbs up and drop your comments below. So that being said, let's dive into our skills. So the first thing, the, um, my equipment for this procedure are as follows. I have a toilet paper here for my patient to clean herself. I have a hand sanitizer. I have several um, gloves and I have a privacy blanket to provide the privacy for my patient. So the first thing I wanna do is to knock. Hello, can I come in? Hi, good morning. I'm Miss Henderson and I'm going to be your CNA today. And today I'm here to place you on a bedpan. Is that okay with you? Okay, great. So I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go wash my hands and grab my equipment and come back. So I proceed to the sink. I wash my hands 15 to 20 seconds, I come back. I check my patient's ID. Hi, you're Mrs. Jones. Hi, Mrs. Jones. What is your date of birth? January 15, 1952. So I did my two identifiers. What is the next step am I going to do? I'm going to raise my bed to working level. coming up. So guys, I raise my bed to working level. The next thing I want to do is to um, lower this handrail, the side that I'm working on. I want to make sure that's down. So these are called all indirect skills. So the next thing I want to do is to provide privacy for my patient. So I draw the privacy curtain, I lock my bed for safety, I have raised my bed to working level, and now I'm getting ready to do my actual skill. So I am going to apply my gloves, I'm gonna grab my privacy blanket. I'm gonna ask Mrs. Jones, can you please hold on top of this sheet here, please? Thank you so much. I asked my patients to hold here, hold this one here, so I am going to fan fold the other sheet down. Thank you so much. 
okay. Patient has her privacy blanket. So the next step I want to do is that I want to place a protective barrier under my patient. So I have protective barriers here that I am going to place under my patient to protect the bed linens from getting soiled. So in order to do that, I have to lower the head of the bed, make sure it's low. I'm going to scoot my patient closer to me by moving her body in three components. Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna move you closer to me so I can place a chuck under your bed. Is that okay with you? One, two, three. I'm gonna cross my patient's leg, and at this time, I'm gonna cross my patient's arm to maintain proper body alignment. On a count of three, Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna slide you to the side. Mrs. Jones, I'm now gonna to proceed to place a chuck under you to protect your back. So while I'm there, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to place a bedpan under you. Is that okay with you? Yes. yes. So I have my bedpan here. The widest part goes towards the patient's buttocks. So I make sure I take a nice paper towel, a warm paper towel, I wipe here, and I'm going to place it under my patient. One, two, three. Good. How is that? Good? How does it feel, Mrs. Jones? Good. So I have the bedpan on my patient. At this time, I'm going to proceed to raise the patient's head off the bed to 30 degree angle. At this time, I'm going to bring all my supplies closer to my patient and I'm going to instruct my patient what to do. Mrs. Jones, I have your toilet paper here. I have your call bell here. I'm just going to step out of the room and please um, buzz me when you're finished. Use the toilet paper to clean your hand. I have some um, hand sanitizer and I have a damp washcloth and call me when you're finished. I'll step out of the room at this moment. I am going to proceed to remove my gloves. I'll dispose this in the trash can and wash my hands. So my patient buzzed me back in, I come in how did it go, Mrs. Jones? Went for, okay, good. So I'm back to take you from the bedpan. I've washed my hands, and now I am going to place some clean gloves on, and I'm going to remove you from the bedpan. Is that okay with you? Yes. Guys, at this moment, you have to establish which one is going to be your clean hand and which one gonna be your dirty hand. So I'm gonna have this hand as my clean hand and this hand I'm gonna pick up the bed pan with. So before I do anything, I need to um, lower the head of the patient's bed to remove her from the bed pan. Mrs. Jones, on a count of three, I'm gonna turn you to the side this is my clean hand, this is my dirty hand. So, I'm gonna roll the patient on the side, I'm going to pick up the, the bed pan with the chuck, I'll pick it up, I have my clean hand, 
I'm going to place my patient back here. This is my clean hand. This is my clean hand. I am going to take this. I'm going to throw it into the dirty trash. This is my dirty hand. I'm going to inspect the feces and the urine, assess the color of the feces, the consistency of the feces. I'll look at the urine. Is it concentrated? Does it have an odor? All these are my clinical findings that I'm going to need to report to my charge nurse. So I assessed it, everything looks fine. I'm gonna dump it, wash it with soap and water, disinfect it, dump it, soap and water, dump, soap and water, dump. Now, what I'm gonna to proceed to do, I am going to pick up some dry paper towels and I'm going to dry my bedpan and I'm going to place it in its designated area. I put it back in its designated area. So now I come back, remember which is my clean hand. This is my clean hand, this is my dirty hand. So I will proceed to pick up the toilet paper with my clean hand, place it back to its designated area, and also the hand sanitizer and everything, my remaining of my glove back into its designated position. Now, the remaining items I have on the table, I can use both hands to dispose it into the trash. So I place this into the trash. I proceed to remove my gloves, place this into the trash, come back, wash my hands, 15 to 20 seconds, wash my hands, come back to my patient. Make my patient Comfortable, how is it going, Mrs. Jones? Mrs. Jones, um, I am going to lower your bed to the lowest position. Would you like your head up the bed a little higher? Okay, good. Mrs. Jones, here's your um, call bell. If you need anything, please call me and I'll attend to your needs. Thank you so much. Um, guys, that's it for the bedpan scale. After you wash your hands and you come back, you make your patient comfortable, lower the bed, place the call bell, remove the privacy curtain, and say to your evaluator at the test center, my scale is now completed. When you say your skill is completed, you cannot go back and make any corrections. Thank you so much for tuning into this YouTube channel. Again, if you like these types of content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like and share, and share this video with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm out.